Sal, you also said, I don't think this is something to worry about yet. Is that is that true? Well, you know, Greg made the point that what you're seeing right now is what's not being disrupted right now is containers. That was his big point in that piece. You know, the container shipping is moving through as we see it. However, I, I would caveat one point in Greg's piece is that we are seeing that the container ships, while they're moving through the canal, have to lighten their loads, mm. which means that should all of a sudden demand go up on the east and Gulf Coast, then we're going to have an issue. The real big thing that Greg highlights really well in the po in, in the point is that the Panama Canal is used almost, I mean, one of the biggest users is the United States, particularly our exports, grain, uh, coal, ore, and most importantly, liquefied natural gas and liquefied petroleum gas. That is what's lining up at the end of the canal on the north end. And if those delays continue, remember what we're seeing is a drop in water levels, which is minimizing draft going through. And the way the canal is handling that 